Hello and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are gonna make some healthy air fried, crispy KFC style chicken with very few ingredients and you won't wanna go back to buying it again. As a mum of three boys, it is really expensive when we go to get a KFC takeaway and trying to get them filled up costs a fortune. So I wanted to bring you a cheaper, easier way to do it that also isn't deep fried in oil. Everybody is using the air fryers at the moment. It is a much more cost effective way than turning on an entire oven. So without any more rambling, let's get started. I've gone for some bone in pieces. You can do this with chicken breast or skinless and boneless chicken thighs, but we're gonna go for the proper KFC experience where you can actually pick up the pieces and get your hands dirty. So I've just got some chicken drumsticks and some chicken thighs, skin on, bone in. I've got a couple of eggs to dip the chicken in some corn flour and plain flour which i'm going to mix together because the corn flour really helps to combat the moisture and gives a much more crispy finish so we're going to use mostly plain and a little bit of corn flour and then i've just got some of this chicken seasoning and when you look at the ingredients it's things like garlic powder onion powder paprika cayenne pepper black pepper all that kind of thing so you could pop in any seasoning you want i just sort of go with chicken because it's nice and simple so let's get started so we're going to start off by preparing our flour mix i'm going to use about 150 grams of plain flour and then to that i'm going to add about 50 grams of corn flour just for that extra crispiness it's actually near 60 grams but it'll be fine so what i'm going to do now is just combine the two flours so that they are nicely mixed then I'm going to split this between two bowls, pop half in my other bowl. So we are going to keep one bowl plain and to our other bowl I'm going to add two tablespoons of the chicken seasoning. So I'm going to mix that through so we've got one flavoured flour and one just plain. So the next thing I'm going to do is just beat two eggs into a bowl, try not to get all the shell, which I usually do. I'm just going to whisk those together. This is so simple to do and you can do it in batches if you've got a lot of people to feed. Right, so now we wanna kind of set up a little production line. So the chicken is gonna go first off into the plain flour, then it's gonna go into the egg bath, then it's gonna go into the flavored flour, then it's gonna go on a plate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some chicken, coat it in the non-seasoned flour mix, this step is really important. It really helps to keep the chicken really nice and crispy. Next up, we're gonna dip it in the egg. And this is a really messy job. And you are then gonna take your flavored flour and you're gonna coat the chicken and egg mixture in your seasoned flour mix. And that really is all there is to it. That's probably the hardest part, getting in a mess. Pop it on a plate, rinse and repeat. So in the dry mix, I am getting this absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Never mind. And then we'll go into our egg. And then into our seasoned mix. And I will just play Play a little bit of interesting music for you because this could take some time. So I've preheated my air fryer. It really does make a difference to the cooking time. So just a few minutes, even if just like three or four minutes, I'm gonna spray some of this oil at the bottom and then I'm also gonna coat my chicken with it. This is just a vegetable oil spray. I'm gonna use both sides of my air fryer, but I'll just show you this one for starters. I'm gonna pop my chicken in. Try not to cram it too much on top of each other so the air can circulate. So probably gonna get about four pieces in each basket. Otherwise it's all gonna to stick together. It's like um, Tetris. So I've got my chicken in there. I'm just gonna give it a good spray on the top. We'll just help the crispiness. So my air fryer actually has a chicken button. So I press basket number one, and if I press the little chicken guy, then it will be 200 degrees for 20 minutes. You can always pop it back in if it's not fully cooked. You've just got to make sure there's no pink left and the juices are running clear. But I'm going to pop that on and I will show you it when it comes back out. 
So here is our chicken out the air fryer. I actually ended up giving it an extra 10 minutes because I've got a thermometer and when I checked it, it wasn't quite done in the middle. So I just used my thermometer to make sure that they all hit 75 degrees or over when it was poked into the middle, just to make sure it's all nice and safe. But it looks really good. I'll show you it plated up and I'll try and cut a piece of one so that you can see inside. Yeah, it's virtually impossible because this has bone in the middle, but you can see the chicken is still really tender, but it's fully cooked. The skin has gone proper KFC crispy, and I need to reassemble this one. <laughs> hope nobody notices, but yeah, here is our crispy KFC chicken, and I'm just going to show you it how I'm going to serve it. So I'm serving my, I'm going to call it VFC, Vicky's Fried Chicken, with a corn on the cob, which I've just boiled some coleslaw which I didn't make and some skin on oven fries which I also didn't make these are the crispy ones I think they're from Aldi um, and the chicken's just really the chicken's really nice and crispy uh, really tender on the inside and it's not full of grease like takeaways can be and it's cost a fraction of the price like literally probably not even a quarter of what we'd usually spend so yeah, really impressed. This is my air fried chicken. I really recommend you try it. I have got a playlist of all different other air fryer videos on this channel and I keep adding to it. So if you would like to see that, I'll link it down below. Make sure to subscribe for more and try out this chicken. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too.